Hey guys, you might have seen this device on my channel. This one is my Redmi 5. And I did make a few videos about this device, like custom ROM reviews. Last few months, I haven't uploaded any video about this device, but I have been trying a ROM on this. So I have been trying Lineage US 22, which is based on Android 50. So this is kind of amazing that we can get Android 15 for this device. And Android 15 is actually running pretty well on this device. Because it got only 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage. So it's kind of heavy for this device. But it is running well. So as you can see our about phone. And if I show you Android versions, Android version 15, Lineage OS version 22. And the security patch level is 5th of November 2024. By the way, whoever ported this ROM for this device, they did a great job. The ROM is flying on this device actually. So control panel is as you can see here pretty much similar to all other Android 15 based ROM and the setting way is pretty much similar. In terms of network connectivity, Bluetooth Wi-Fi working well. I haven't faced any issue and also how to support is working as you can see here. But one thing which I cannot really try is the phone call because this device don't really connect to the network but it does detect my SIM card and Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi option is a Bible here. I don't think it's going to work, but the options are a Bible. App section, as you can see here, we don't really get any kind of clone apps or app lock option here. Notification, pretty much similar. Sound and vibration, working well. And we do get Agita FX for audio FX, so as you can see here, now it is in dynamic mode but no pare volume control option. So as you can see here, that is not a viable. Display, adaptive brightness is working well and double tap to work and double tap to sleep also working as you can see here, no issue. Wallpaper and style. We don't really get any clock option here. Only a single clock is a viable because the ROM is actually devoted for this device. Change wallpaper. Here we get something amazing. So as you can see here, the person or the people who actually built this ROM, they modified some wallpapers for this device, specifically for this device. As you can see here, Redmi 5 and Rosie, which is code name of this device. So all these wallpapers are specifically built for this device. So kind of cool. And also we do get Google's own wallpapers. So as you can see here. Those are also available. In the more lock screen option, we do get few options here and we do get AOD with this ROM. So as you can see here, AOD is also working. So if you like AOD, this ROM is quite good for that. Storage, as you can see here, this is a 16 gig model. So by default, it will take 7 to 8 GB of storage. Battery. So I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. The battery backup is quite good. No issue at all. And we do get some battery related features like charging control option. So we can schedule the charging, custom schedule or limit charging. So those things are available. And also we can check battery information here, which is not reliable, but option is available. And the system setting. We do get few customization option here actually and the status bar option as you can see here quick pull down clock position and these are the things we are getting here nothing much actually and these are the things you are getting in terms of security and privacy we are only getting fingerprint unlock here no face unlock but working well actually no issue at all as you can see here fingerprint unlock is working and as android 15 based rom we do get private space you can turn it on if you like. In the more security and privacy option, we do get few things here. As you can see, extended unlock, theft protection, trust, but no app lock option. Location is working well. For better experience, you can turn off animations. As you can see here, the animations are pretty slow. But for faster experience, we can turn off all sorts of animation. So color and motion, remove animations. Now, as you can see here, quite fast so you can disable all sorts of animation so in terms of application this is a gfs build we do get few google application here and i did install few application here too so 
we are getting Google Camera Go with this ROM, which is kind of working as you can see here, but video recording doesn't work. And I did install Gcam here, which is also kind of working. Pretty slow. And as you can see here, we can take picture and crash the app. So this ROM has camera related issue. In terms of Google Photos, we do get unlimited storage. As you can see here, this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos. And also, Magic Editor is a Bible, but it is not really full flash Magic Editor. So if I go to Edit section, as you can see here, we can go enhance, but we cannot remove or anything like that. So those things are not a Bible, but the basic editing is a Bible here and working well, no issue at all. In terms of safety net, obviously you are not getting safety net with this ROM. So bank apps not going to work. Show you that. As you can see here, device is not certified. So bank apps not going to work and ChatGPT is also not working because of safety net. So not working. In terms of other features, we are not getting much here. No circle to search or anything like that. As you can see here, those things are not a Bible. In terms of gaming, this is not really a gaming device. So gaming performance is not really good. Like this game I have downloaded, they don't really work well here. Mainly because these games are not really designed for this kind of hardware. And this device not meant to run Android 15. So if you want to play games on this device, you have to download older version of games. Those will work well. But if you download directly from Play Store, those will run pretty slow. Otherwise, the ROM is working well. As you can see here, no issue at all. As I said, after disabling the animation, it is quite fast and working well. So you can't really expect much from this device. This is a pretty old device. So... I'm surprised that it can run Android 15 this well. So nothing crazy here. So if you have so if you have a Red 5 device, you can try this ROM. I will put the ROM link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.